the 48th day of Russia's invasion operation against Ukraine has entered. Officials in the Donbass region said Russian tanks began to advance for a new offensive. In a statement evaluating the invasion, President of Ukraine Zelensky argued that Russian troops deliberately left large numbers of explosives while withdrawing from the northern regions of his country. And this should be considered a war crime. Russian President Putin, on the other hand, said that Ukraine has deviated from the agreement reached in Istanbul and that the talks have reached a dead end. The 48th day of the invasion operation launched by Russia against Ukraine on February 24 has entered. In the Donbass region in eastern Ukraine, officials said Russian tanks had begun to advance for a new offensive. Russia still has about 40,000 soldiers in Donbass. On the other hand, evaluating the 47th day of the war, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky argued that Russian troops deliberately left a large number of explosives while withdrawing from the northern regions of his country. And this should be considered a war crime. Zelensky reported that demining works continue in the northern regions of Ukraine, which were liberated from Russian soldiers. Noting that at least a thousand explosives are deactivated in the said regions every day, Zelensky said, the invaders left mines everywhere, on the streets, in houses, in cars. This is a deliberate act to make a return to post-invasion areas as dangerous.